I'm Tom Dyke. I am the director of events for Cards Against Humanity. We do a whole lot of things, coming to conventions, playtest new cards, doing local events, running our exhibitor booth, running different panels, we try out new games, we play games with people, bar nights, comedy shows. If it's a thing that we want people to come to, I'm in charge of making that happen. I uh, started as an intern with Cards Against Humanity when I was in college. I got very lucky. Knowing a friend who knew the people who had found the game through the comedy scene in Chicago and just being willing to make that connection with someone. But I had never specifically thought that I would be working in events and it's something that I found my way into and have really enjoyed since. Being organized and communication more than anything. I have learned that you've got to be able to create an organizational system and be able to communicate that to other people on your team and to the people that are coming to your events. Being able to communicate clearly with people, being willing to be outgoing and understanding that if that's not a skill you have right away, it's something that you just work on through practice. Talking to people, you'll get there. Most people are willing to be nice to you if you're trying to be nice to them. I would highly recommend volunteering at conventions. That is a fantastic way to both be a part of the community as a fan, but understand that there is work to be done and what people are doing. It is an amazing way to build community, to have a great time, and to really feel out if this is right for you. Events is something that takes a lot of hard work, uh, but to me it is incredibly, incredibly rewarding. Events requires different hours. Uh, it's not a nine to five job. You're there, you're working 12, 15 hour days, you're having fun, things are going wrong all the time, you're putting out a bunch of fires, and you get this just euphoria of like making things happen and seeing the faces of people who are there to enjoy all the hard work that you've put in over the last few months. You work hard, and then you rest. Something that I really enjoyed was in 2016 for Black Friday, we worked on the holiday hole. What if we just dug a hole? for no reason, and we're gonna live stream the whole thing. We're gonna do it all weekend and people can donate money and as long as they keep donating money, we will keep digging a hole. It's such a delight because whenever you're doing stunts for Cards Against Humanity, there is a voice that you take on and a sort of like apologetic tone when you're talking to people doing serious jobs. Like, hey, so this is gonna sound really weird, but how would you feel about digging a hole for like 48 hours straight? <laughs> I slept in an RV for two nights and just watched construction crews dig a giant hole. And at the end of it, I got to climb down in it and be like, we dug a hole for no reason. <laughs> and it was really fun. Things aren't gonna go the way you expect and you've gotta be open to uh, different opportunities. I wish I had known just to not give up on things earlier and be willing to stick things out and put a little bit of effort into people that are reaching out to you um, because you never know what is going to be the connection that could be your next job or could be a great partnership or if nothing else just allows somebody else to create something fun. Um, and if you put a little bit of that effort in, that will be reciprocated. I think the best thing anyone can do is just show up and be willing to stay late, work hard, 